hello everyone so in this video we will see how we retrieve data through solar query in hotwex commerce apps solar query is an api which takes query in payload searches the solar index and returns a json response the response consists of a result list along with facets facets are optional in this Solar works by gathering, storing, and indexing documents from different sources and making them searchable in near real time. It follows a three-step process that involves indexing, querying, and finally ranking the results all in near real time, even though it works with huge volumes of data. We are having a URL over here. So what I will be doing first is I will test this URL in Postman. So just copy this URL and I will go to Postman here in my workspace. I will add and we are using the post request. So I will just paste my URL over here. Now Firstly, we have to authorize the user. So, I will be doing it by this. We have the username over here and password over here. And I have selected basic oath as the type. Now, the body will contain the data which we are sending as payload. So, I am selecting raw here and I am sending a JSON data over here so i will be pasting my json data in this text area so just navigate towards the payload over here and i want to paste this pay this data into my postman test area so i will copy this object We'll go over here and we'll paste this. As it is a JSON file, we will be writing JSON like this. So this is the JSON data that I am sending as payload. Here we are giving some parameters, query and filter and the data of facet that we want to create facet of, that we want to be faceted. So as I will run this. we are getting this response now if we want only order name or order id to be displayed over here what we will do is we will specify the field list over here like this so I want order ID. What I will do, I will just send it again. And we will get only order ID. Query here is for search. And filter is to get the filtered data. I will just remove this and I will be filtering data by using the order ID now. So how we can do this? I will simply go over here. We'll write the end operator. And I want the data of order ID. 
this now we will get all the products of order id nn13571 This is how we can filter data from this API. So uh, basically this is the basic usage of Solar Query and how we can uh, display a few fields or display some filtered data by manipulating the uh, Solar Query. Now I will be focusing towards how we can retrieve this data in our Hotwax Hot Commerce app. So I will be focusing on two cases. The first one will be using a solar helper file and second one will be dis uh, providing the query directly in a view file. So what will I do? This is my Hotwax Commerce app. Now this is the action find orders through which data is displaying on this page here we can see the structure i have created a find orders action over here inside that we are query we are calling this prepare order query from solar helper file and inside that we have created the whole payload that we are sending We have passed uh, certain parameters to the method for which we, it prepares the required solar query. So we can see that we are having facets, query, filter and params over here. And we are getting, in response we are getting some grouped and faceted data. So, first of all, we will see what are facet, query, and filter over here. So, filters are basically to apply some filter conditions. If we want our data to be displayed after filtering out, after uh, going through some uh, conditions and filtering out then we will be providing that conditions over here and the data will be after getting filtered query here the query is giving this parameter so what's happening here is that we are using solar query parameter query and with a special syntax that request all the documents in the index it means all the key any of key and value in the map so if i want that uh, data should be searched on the ba basis of order id or any specific id then i can pass over here now this facet so faceting allows the search results to be arranged into subsets or buckets or categories providing a count for each subset so as we can see that we have created two facets one of order status id facet and the second one is shipment method type id facet so here we can see we have some count over here so it has created two categories one of order status ID and second one is of shipment method ID. So after this, we are getting another data that is in grouped. So result grouping groups documents together with a common property and places these documents under a group. Here in code, 
we can see that we have passed order id and here we have grouped using order id property so it allows you to group search result by specific property here we have passed order id so it will group our data according to order id this is one example where we have used the solar helper file now in second example we have directly created the query in this view file this is a receiving app and this is the payload that we are sending here it seems to be similar uh, with another app but the difference is that in that in this app we have created a solar helper that is we have managed the query outside the uh, view file and in that we have managed the query inside the view file so we have created this payload over here or the query over here and provided the payload for our solar query api so we have focused three things in this video the first one is what is solar query and how we can manipulate the solar query data accordingly according to our need or how we how what filters we want and how we want our search to work then the third case which we have focused is how we can manage this solar query uh, through a solar helper file and lastly how we can provide the query from a view file directly so hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching this video